Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of uh, Keith's Reviews, uh, Friday night, Friday evening edition this time. I'm going to do a uh, uh, beer from another brewery I've never had before. Um, I'm going to do from Jolly Pumpkin. I'm going to do their Maracaibo Especial. Uh, this is classified as a Belgian strong ale, strong dark ale, strong ale seen it both ways. Um, comes in at 7.5 percent ABV. Um, from the website and on the bottle it says a rich brown ale inspired by the enigmatic monastic brews of Belgium and the mysterious misshrouded jungles of the tropics. Brewed with real cacao and spiced with cinnamon and sweet orange peel for essential delight. A brew to be sipped, savored, and enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to this after that disaster last night. Um, so let's just get this in a bottle and uh, hope for a good beer. A lot of smoke out of there. That's a good sign. And that's pouring out of the bottle too. The smoke's pouring out of the bottle right along with the beer. Nice creamy three finger head on that. We got a fairly opaque, almost clear, um, dark brown with orange tinges. A lot of carbonation st sticking to the, clinging to the side of the glass. But there's a lot streaming up. This seems like a very carbonated beer. Um, Nice looking beer. I hope it's a good Belgian Belgian ale because I'm ready for a good beer after that disaster last night. Let's give it a smell and see what we have. Oh yeah, lots of lots of sweetness in the aroma. There's a touch of, touch of uh, chocolate. You get a little oranges. You definitely get the cinnamon. Might even be a little bit of vanilla. It's a that's a good it's a good smelling beer. This is a good start. Let's give it a taste and see if it follows. It's kind of a sweet bitterness in the beginning. And then it sort of uh, transitions to a bit of cinnamon and like a common, almost a sweet and sour orange together in the middle. It's got a bittersweet finish and I think that's where the, uh, the cacao they said they used comes in because there's a little bit of a cocoa type flavor right in the finish I'm liking this now there's a a good tartness. I, I heard this is made with Brett. I don't know. Um, I've never ta knowingly tasted a beer made with Brett. That um, that I know of. There's a good sourness here, but it's a sweet. It's a sweet sourness. It's hard to describe, but it's. Um, Very, very tasty. I think this bottle is going to last me the rest of the evening. Let me sit and warm it. Let this warm up a little bit. I'll add a little more and I'll be back with you later for my final thoughts. And uh, Okay, 
<clears throat> okay, I'm back. This is um, this is one that you definitely want to let warm up. Um, this beer, there are so much flavors come out of this beer since it's warmed up. I'm I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, I get a lot more a lot more things in the flavor since it's warmed. Um, the cocos come out a lot more. Uh, the orange and and uh, vanilla have come out a lot more. Um, I'm getting some nuttiness now that uh, that I didn't get before. Um, there's some dark fruits, maybe plums, that have come out. Um, this, is a, this is a decent take on a Belgian strong dark ale. I mean, there are some flavors here you'll never find in a typical Belgian strong ale. But it's a nice American interpretation of it. Um, so, as a Belgian strong ale, I'd probably give it a seven. Um, as a good drinkable beer, I give it a nine. I'll average those two out, and this is an eight on my scale of ten. Till next time, everybody, cheers, and keep drinking good beer.